welcome back to the wallet this is the second video on figure partition and counting and we have a triangle ready right here so we'll take a look at how many triangles in this triangle this triangle is parti partitioned and then we need to find out how many triangles are there so well at a glance this is what we see one two three four five six triangles so we'll take one piece at a time so i'll mark it as t1 if it is t1 well we have six one two three four five six six triangles now if you take two pieces at a time how many triangles we have two pieces well these two one and two together that's a triangle and three and four together that's a triangle and well five and six together that's a triangle so we have three triangles so two pieces together we have three triangles at the same time when you take two and three together that's not a triangle five uh, four and five it's not together it's not a triangle six and one together it's not a triangle now we'll take three pieces together one two three one two three together that's a triangle so three pieces together t3 well one two three one triangle four five six another triangle we have two then we have two three four another triangle here five six and one another triangle so we have another two well the next one is what which we have encountered two three four is counted now three four five and six one two so two more triangles so t3 at a time we have six triangles now t4 that means four pieces together one two three four together it's not a triangle then two three four five together it's not a triangle then four five six and one together it's not a triangle so four pieces together it's not a triangle at all how about like five pieces together five pieces well one two three four five together it's not a triangle now six pieces together well six pieces together that's a large triangle we have here so t6 six pieces together we have one triangle so all together six plus three nine plus one ten ten plus six sixteen triangles we have how about like parallelogram right here well how many parallelograms in this figure look at it one two three four five six seven eight so if you take one parallelogram at a time one piece at a time how many parallelograms do we have i'll just mark it as p1 one piece at a time we have eight of them now p2 that means two parallelograms at a time two pieces at a time while two pieces at a time if you take one and five that's a parallelogram so this together it's a parallelogram one and five then two and six three and seven four and eight how many we have four of them apart from that anything else well one and two together it's a parallelogram two and three together it's a parallelogram three and four together it's a parallelogram how many one and two two and three three and four three of them and another three here three plus three six so two at a time we have six now three at a time three pieces together well three pieces together if you take it this way that's not a parallelogram but if you take it this way one two and three together that's a parallelogram then two three and four that's another parallelogram so we have two here and we have two here as well so total four now well four pieces together four pieces together one two five six that's a parallelogram two three six seven another parallelogram then three four seven eight another parallelogram so we have three how about like four pieces this way one two three and four that's one parallelogram five six seven and eight another parallelogram so three plus two five well p4 now p5 at a time that means five pieces at a time do we have a parallelogram no how about like six pieces together six well one two three five six seven that's a parallelogram six pieces how about like two three four six seven eight another parallelogram another six pieces so how many we have two which are the two one two three 
five, six, seven, and two, three, four, six, seven, eight. That's a two. Now seven pieces together. Is it a parallelogram? Not at all. How about like eight pieces? Well, all these pieces together, that's one parallelogram. So eight pieces together, P8, how many we have? One. Well, all together, when you add it up, how many you have? Six plus four is 10. 18, 18 plus 4, 22, 22, and we have 5 here, 27, 28 plus 2. We have 30 parallelograms right here. How about this triangle right here? This is the star. How many triangles in the star? Look at it. 1, 2, 3, four and five apart from this five triangles so i'll just mark it as five so well triangle one at a time we have five how about like two at a time do we have any triangle two pieces together or like three pieces together do we have any other triangle well check it out this is a triangle look at it this one is a triangle one, four, and this piece together, central piece together. So I'll just mark it as central piece C. So one and four and central piece together, we have one triangle. How about like a five, three, and central piece together? See that, this one. Five, four, I mean three, and the central piece together, we have another triangle. So we are taking two plus central piece together. We have so far two triangles. Then how many more? So this one is being taken. This one has been taken. Now this one, four and two, four and two. And the central piece together, we have another triangle. So, so far we have three triangles. So what which are the taken? One, four and central piece, five, three and the central piece four, two and the central piece. Next one, three, one and the central piece together. So we have the fourth triangle. Now two, five and the central piece. So how many such triangles? Five. Anything else? Any other triangle possible here? Not at all. So total, 10 triangles right here. All right. How about like uh, this parallelogram question, if you really extend this parallelogram, if you extend it, that means, well, from this four, I'm just extending it to five. Let's see this. Now, what I want you to do, pause this video for one minute and take a look at it and find out how many parallelograms we have in this new figure. Well, this is what the new parallelogram we have, or we call it an extended parallelogram. Earlier one, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces together, right? So we counted that, how many parallelograms we had? total 30. So this case we have five pieces here and five pieces here total 10 pieces. So if you count it how many parallelograms we have all together. Let's try it. P1. So that means one piece at a time. How many do we have? 10 of them. How about like two pieces? Any two pieces together how many parallelograms we have? Well, two pieces, we can take it as one and six, one and six, two and seven, three and four, three and eight, four and nine, five and ten. So how many are there? Five of them. How about we take two pieces like this, one and two, one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five. How many we have? Four here and four here. So well, four plus four. How about like three pieces together? 
P3, any three pieces together. One, two, I mean one, six and seven. It is not possible. How about like one, two and seven? Not possible. One, two and six? Not possible. Two, three and seven? Not possible. So the only way we can take it as one, two, three? Possible. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Another one. Three, four, five. Another one. We have three here and another three here. I'll just write it as three plus three. Four pieces together. Well, four pieces together, when you take one, two, and six, seven together, it is possible. One parallelogram. Then two, three, and seven, eight, another parallelogram. Three, four, and eight, nine, another parallelogram. Four, five, and nine, ten, another parallelogram. So how many we have? Four of them. Any other possibility? Yes. One, two, three, four. That's a parallelogram. Four pieces together. Another one, two, three, four, five another one so we have two and we have another two here well five pieces together any five pieces together well if you take it five pieces like this one two six seven or eight or one two three six seven not possible the five pieces only way you can take one two three four five one and six seven eight nine ten another one so we have two of them how about we go for six pieces any six pieces together p6 well p6 if you take six pieces this is the possibility one two three six seven eight we have a parallelogram then two three four seven eight nine we have another parallelogram then three four five eight nine ten so we have three of them so p7 any possibility of seven pieces together? Do we get a parallelogram? Not at all. Seven is not possible. Eight. Well, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Possible. Then two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one. So we have two of them. Then P9, nine pieces together? Not possible. Ten pieces? Well, if you take 10 pieces, all these pieces together, we have a parallelogram. So all together, how many we have? Just count it quickly. At the same time, when you go for counting, go for rounding method. What, that would be the best way to count this kind of figures. Well, four, four plus four, eight, eight plus two, 10. So we have 10, we have another 10 here. 10 plus 10, 20. Then this one is 13 plus six, 19. We have a one here, 20. 20 plus 20, 40, and balance is what? 3 and 2. So, well, 45. 45 parallelograms we have. Right? So, if you want additional questions, feel free to search our website, walnuttraining.org. So, this is what it is scrolling right here, walnuttraining.org. Once you get into the website, Look at the study material. Click on study materials and there would be different areas under study materials like um, bank exams, SSC, UGC net, UGC CSIR, different heads would be there. Choose your area and select the questions. It could be figure partition type questions, blood relation questions, there would be coding decoding questions, deductions, all those kind of questions feel free to take advantage of it. At the same time, subscribe to the channel as well. That would be a real motivation for the pain behind this kind of programs. It's rather than money, it is the kind of motivation and support you provide. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned until we meet next time.